Hey, what's up guys? Battlefield Noscope here, and welcome back to some more World Conquer 3. So, uh, today we're going to be doing a little bit of 1950s gameplay, and we're going to play as the USSR. See how... what Communist Russia does during the 1950s. So, if I recall, the 50s, that was during the Cold War. I'll go ahead and assault the capital of... Let's push into... Poland's our ally. Sukov, he's our commander-in-chief. So we're going to play as uh, Communist Russia <clears throat> and see uh, what they did during the war. Send them down to secure that oil. Send him to secure that oil. Protect our area in there. Let's end the turn. So this is just a bit of small gameplay. See what Russia does during the 1950s. Of course, in the game, they assault uh, all of Europe, take it over. I'm thinking of maybe doing a Russian campaign. Still don't know yet. I would very much love to. Secure that oil. Secure that oil. Let's end the turn again. I'm not too worried about over in the our border with Asia because Japan is the only threat, but China will most likely wipe them out. So we're going to focus really on the European theater against all those countries that will threaten us. off Prussia from any support. Another commando team. Let's go back over to Moscow. Get armored vehicle and let's end the turn. <clears throat> yes, yes. Russia can be very, very powerful, mainly because you know there are a lot of territory, how much oil they have, and just because of their military, is, it was one of the largest during that time. Denmark's giving me trouble. I'm gonna build up a just a massive amount of commando teams. We'll get some more armor here soon. Hold it, Kiev. I forgot about Stalingrad. I forgot we had a ship. We'll have 
to get some more forces down there. There we go. Uh, we'll have to get some reinforcements up at Stalingrad. That's on the turn. <clears throat> so I'm thinking, yeah, assault. Probably Finland would be the easiest. Then move on to Sweden and Denmark, who keeps causing me trouble, and Norway. Take all those countries and then push on to Germany. Somewhere useful. Get down to Stalingrad. Um, let's go up to Moscow. Get that. So we're going to build up a massive, just a matter of a commando team around Zuko, uh, not Zukov, whoever this is. Uh, Val, Valensky, I believe is the name. <clears throat> so I'm going to do that. Let's end the turn one last time. <clears throat> Great Britain launching missiles at China. South Korea defeated, that's very good. Field artillery to boost our morale. We have a second light tank at Stalingrad. Yeah, the Balkans are going to be a very heavy place to fight for. Over here, Chinese, which is that? Secure our oil. And we don't want to get assaulted over here. So U.S. pushing out against the... Our enemies. And they took that port. Alright, next turn we'll build up troops over here because it's looking like they might come around and invade us from there. And the pressure in Europe will need to be put on. As long as China can hold them off for a while, that would be good and nice. Take whatever money we have left. Rest infantry.
calves under assault. Let's get our artillery out of there. That's not good to keep that there. Keep the ship in port. Alrighty guys, we're going to end the episode, uh, not episode, uh, gameplay here. This is the gameplay number one of our uh, Russian game, uh, Russian gameplay. So, thinking, yeah, do a part two, part three, just see how long this goes on. It'll just be a little gameplay series for this. Um, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more gameplay videos on uh, different countries. Um, if we can get ten likes, I will do a communist gameplay on uh, Poland during the 1950s or 60s. Whichever one you guys prefer. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.